Now, I like to equate um, working with actors like planting a garden because you start with nothing and at the end you have something, right? But it always starts with nothing. So if you have, I'll let, give you a few minutes if you want, want to write that down, you can, it's up to you. I'm going to erase it in a few minutes. But we're going to talk about what's the first thing you do when you're, when you're um, making a garden? What's the first thing you should do? You cultivate the land. Cultivate the land, right. And you have to get the, the ground ready for everything else, right? So that would be equated to the director preparing his script, okay? How many of you, and be honest, because I, I want to know, how many of you really do research on your scripts? Like have actually sat down, read it, and if there's a question you didn't understand or know, you researched it to make sure you knew about it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's half of you. Okay, how many of you, and that's fine, that's fine. There's no, you know, this is what this is for, to, to let you understand what you need to do also to be the best you can be for your actors. How many of you actually write down the emotions that these characters should have in the scene? One, two, three, okay, four, okay. yes. How many of you write down where the arc should happen or where the, the intensity of that particular scene should happen? Good. How many of you guys mark the beats? Two. Okay. So there's various things that's going on. Um, and that's something that you need to do as a director. You need to know every aspect of that script. You need to know what every actor should be conveying to the other characters on stage or, or stage on film, or if he's by himself and he's having a, a, a moment where there's no, there's no um, dialogue, but you see it in his eyes or in his movement. You should always know what that character is doing. So if they come to you and say, I don't know why he's doing this, you as a director can say, well, this is why. Or you can choose not to. You can say you could make him discover it for himself. You know, I mean, directors, just because you know it doesn't mean, doesn't mean you have to give it away. You don't have to tell the actor. But if it comes to a point where you need to, then you find a way of doing it. Okay? But... What you want to do is you want to mark a script. Now, I'm going to erase this real quick. Okay, and we're going to... So who can tell me real quick, I'm going to do a, draw a fake script here real quick. There's no dialogue really. Here are the, these are the people's lines. Lines, okay. Lines. That's great, <laughs> this is a great script, they tell already. That's funny. All right, so there's your script. So what you do is you say this is, you know, actor one, this is actor two, actor one, actor two, one. Okay, so who could tell me, first of all, what is a beat? Who knows? There, there's, there's two types of beats. <coughs> one is what? Who can tell me one type of beat related to acting? Pausing. Pausing. Yes and no. Yes, it is a slight pause. We don't call it pause, okay? Th and I will give you an example in a few seconds, uh, a few minutes about that. A beat is just a moment. It's a moment to, you know, think and then go again. A pause is when you have to get that right word. There's a difference, okay? So if you say to an actor, in that line, can you pause, but you really mean beat? And you say, can you pause? If he's a good actor, he'll, he'll pause. He'll give you that pause that you want and then do it. And then you're going to say, no, no, I'm sorry, make it a shorter pause. And then he's going to say to himself, why did you say beat? Right? So when you're talking with your actors, you have to use dialogue that they're going to understand. I'm going to know. When you say beat, I'm going to go, got it. I know exactly what that means. All right? So let's say that. That's one kind of beat. So you might mark that beat with a line way across. So you say, okay, I want a beat right here, like a slight pause before you say this next line, okay? Now, there's another kind of beat that an actor knows, and that is 
If the beat is when there's a change of emotion or tactic. Do you guys know about intentions and tactics and all that stuff that actors use? Okay. Well, there's intentions and tactics and obstacles. And the thing that an actor does when he's acting is he's using tactics in order to get across what he wants to get from this other actor. And, that's, and when that emotion or tactic changes, that's a new beat. So there's two types of beats, emotional and tempo. Okay? So you have to also, as a director, mark your beat. And you might put two lines for that. So you might put slash slash for, okay, this is an emotional beat, and this is going to be a, 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 a slight pause. Slight pause, a beat, a slight pause. All right? So that's it, you do it. And then you, like, you might put, um, he is going to, you know, um, you're going to write down all the verbs that you think should happen in this script. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'll go into the verbs later. because. So you, you analyze your script, and then you have to do research. So you're, you know, if you're doing a World War II film, right, what should you do? You look up World War II information. You look up all the information you could possibly learn about it. Okay, if there's a, a name that's mentioned in the script, you should look up that name to find out what they're talking about. You know, so it also can help. The actor's going to do the same thing he, that you're doing, right? But you're on the same page. You never want an actor to come to you and say, you know, oh, um, you know, who exactly is um, Osama bin Laden? I don't understand that. Who's that? And you go, oh, I don't know. Well, the great. Okay, so the actor just came to you with a question that you should have known the director. How's that going to make you look in his eyes? Right? So you have to look up all the, anything that's in there, you have to know what it pertains to at all times. Okay? So you research your script, you go through and you mark your script with the beats and the, and, and the, uh, the actions that you want and the verbs that they want, you know, and there's a, in your, in your little packets I gave you is a list of verbs that you can use with actors. Okay? Also, what you want is to have a strong idea of your characters for the script. Now, um, uh, I'm trying to think of, I, okay, I, I, I'm trying to think of a film right now. I can't think of one movie. My mind has gone blank. Are any of you familiar with um, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf by chance? Mm -hmm. Most of you are? Great. We'll use that then. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf has four main characters in it. There's a husband and wife who have been married for a while, and then there's a new husband and wife who are very young. Okay. Now, how would you... Everyone knows that there's Martha, right? How would you describe Martha? This Elizabeth Taylor? Yes, that's Elizabeth Taylor. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just trying to. I was trying to pick a film that you guys might have known that I would know too that we could like discuss. Well, Elizabeth Taylor's character, Martha, <coughs> she is very domineering, very strong-headed, very sexual. She's very pig-headed, and she's also very childlike. Okay, this is her character. As a director you should have a full description of this, of this character in your head, right? It's not just, oh, she's an old middle-aged woman who's unhappy in her marriage. That gives you nothing. That gives the actors nothing. That's like basically saying, actors, you have everything that you need. You know, you do the work, and I'll just tell you if I like it or not, right? You should be able to do that. You should be able to say, this is the character. This is what, how I see, you know, Martha. This is how I see George. This is how I see Nick. This is how I see Honey. This is the vision I have in my mind. And why I do, do I know this? Because when I auditioned the actors, their face is what I saw in my head. Their personality is what I envisioned for this character. Right? So you have to have a strong connection to your characters, to all the characters in the script, down to the 
the one little waiter who says, hi, may I help you? You know, you still have to say, he's cocky. You know, okay, one line for him. He's cocky. Yeah, oh, yeah, may I help you? Whatever, all right? At least we got the character, right? So he knows, the actor knows what you, what you want from him. And you also want to break down the relationships of these characters. What is the relationship between George and Martha? Does anyone remember? It's very dysfunctional. Because they're always playing these games of who can, they, who can hurt each other, and then who can deflect it, and then who can use their words to hurt the other person. And in the meantime, while, we're, while they're you know, having their own little battlements between each other, they're also attacking their two guests who are at their house. Okay? So their relationship is very important. And you have to know that in, when you're looking at the dialogue and looking at your script, you say to yourself, oh, this is, why is he saying this right here? Like, why will, all of a sudden is he becoming nice? You know, just to, for you to think about, you might write down being manipulative or something. You know, just something to, to, to remind you of that during the ongoing process of the film. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Okay. So once you, so once you have all the characters broken down, then what you can do is, if it's an original script, you can clarify any questions you have with the writer. Okay. Uh, so let's say you're not sure if they're happily married. You might say, okay, I have a question, Mr. Albie. Um, is George and Martha happy together? And he'll say, yeah, they are. They're just dysfunctional. Got it. I know now. Okay. Now, you, you know, once the writer says this, the writer does have some say as far as how the characters are, are, are on the script, you know, and, and you, but you can't really change them drastically to what you want. If, if, if Martha is a strong, domineering woman who controls everything, and you decide to make her a weak, kind of mousy wife who whines to get what she wants, you, you've just totally thrown away what the writer has spent one, two, three, five years working on, right? Your job as a director, right, is to take these words that the writer has written and have these actors portray it, right? So that's preparing the ground, all right? That's getting, that's the basis for your garden, is all that research, any questions you want to have answered, you know, and so that's so, so we're going to take that away.